Good Sunday morning, everybody. It's July 28th, and I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Okay, we've got some rain. Uh, well, before I do that, those of you that watched yesterday uh, and only got the three second version <laughs> of these uh, updates, uh, sorry about that. It was a little technical glitch. Some of you saw the whole thing, which was, you know, 18, 19 minutes long or whatever, but others only saw like three seconds and then I'm gone. So it was a, some kind of technical something. I don't know what happened, but anyway, this one should be great for everybody, the whole thing. So here we go. All right. So rain. Yes, we have rain this morning, believe it or not in the area. There's the view outside my window, the plain O cam, plain O cam. Yeah. Plain O and plain O Kentucky outside of Bowling Green, Bowling Green suburb, if you will, beautiful crepe myrtle, just soaking in the rain You can see the birds flying around under that cloudy sky. And occasionally you might, even if you look in some of the darker areas, uh, you might see raindrops. There have been a few showers here this morning. Nothing too intense, but at least it's rain. And today is going to be just what you see here, right there, all day. On and off, showers. Later on, perhaps even a thunderstorm or two. Uh, very high chances of rain. Most of you will get rain today. There's a look downtown from the AAA Systems weather camera, which is uh, high atop Reservoir Hill, and you can see the clouds and even a little bit of haze and fog that is out there this morning. So it depends on where you are. There's going to be that and clouds all day today. So I don't think we're going to see much in the way of sun. There may be a little bit of sun that tries to work through at times, but overall it's going to stay mainly cloudy and rainy. There's the view from the new AAA systems weather camera located at Wingate Hotel. That's uh, at Scottsboro Road and I-65. So we're looking across Interstate 65 and you can see the Home 2 Hotel in the foreground. You can see also the Holiday Inn at the Convention Center, Sloan Convention Center there and then way back in the background upper left uh is the is reservoir hill that's where we have the other camera located so we can see all the way back to the other camera and uh you can see that there's that haze and fog and occasionally some showers that are passing through the area this morning so everybody getting uh some clouds and eventually, if you're not getting raindrops yet, you will. There's going to be those showers that pop up here today. All right, let's take a look at, I want to go to the radar. Where's the radar? I had it stacked up here. Wait just a second. Because I'm using now the, oh, there it is, the Baron radar. So this is going to look a little different, but it gives us a lot more detail than uh, what I've been showing you before. Now, this is the exact radar that you see when you use the News 40 weather app, okay? So I'm going to expand this, and you can see exactly what it looks like. So here you see the showers that are moving. Let me put this into motion. Here you can see the showers that are moving out of Bowling Green. These are the showers that just came through. These arrows indicate the movement or where these showers are moving to. And, of course, I can move all this around. You can see some lightning strikes up there uh, north of Mammoth Cave, uh, up around. This is Nolan Lake. You can see some pretty good rainfall that's going on there. And moving through parts of Grayson County, just east of Litchfield and over toward Clarkson. 
Then the heaviest rain and thunderstorms is up here in Breckenridge County. Look at all the lightning strikes going on there. So uh, that's where the heaviest of rains is going on this morning, and everything is moving off to the north and east. But there are more showers coming. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And you can see we've got more rain coming into middle Tennessee. This is all pretty light. But the thing is, I've been noticing an uptick in some of the uh, the shower activity, which means, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot more of this today. Uh, and just get ready. It's It's going to come in waves. It's not going to be this continual rain, but it's going to come in waves today. And it's going to be uh, the kind of situation where it's, you know, rainy for a few minutes and then it stops, but then rain comes back and it's going to be um, one of those kind of days. So just prepare for that. Uh, And some of the rainfall could be rather intense at times. You get a good steady downpour or when you hear thunder or you see lightning, that's when you know you're going to get a heavier downpour. All right, let's take a look at the Kentucky Mesonet on this Sunday morning. Here at uh, current time is 735. So these are the uh, temperatures at 735. Look at the 60s. Very nice out in the eastern part of the state. Everybody else is in the 70s, even mid and upper 70s. We throw in the dew points which are probably pretty equal, and yes, they're close. Low to mid-70s, not exactly equal, so we're about 90% relative humidity. That's still pretty high. How much rainfall since midnight? Hardly anything. Uh, Grayson County, well, some of this is what you pick, or you're picking up right now, this morning, with some of those heavy showers. Let me turn on the radar, remember? There we go. Yeah, this is why you're starting to see some measurable rainfall. Litchfield has picked up a half inch of rain just this morning. And then you see four tenths of an inch up there in Breckenridge County near Hardensburg, where I showed you on the other radar some of the heavy, heavier returns. And then just one one hundredth of an inch of rain at the Corvette plant this morning. So as you can see, some of these showers are missing the actual location of the sensors. So that's why they're reading zero. But some of you have picked up probably a tenth, two tenths of an inch of rain just this morning uh, from some of that. Uh, Let's go, what, 24 hours? And you can see that, yeah, there's not much change. We just haven't had that much in the way of rain until this morning. The heaviest rains have been back into western Kentucky. The winds are coming out of the south, pretty much out of the south, as you can see, at 5 to 10, and any kind of gust, occasionally, to 10 to 12. But all the all the uh, soupy air is coming up from the south. Lots of moisture associated with that, so it's going to be one of those days where you can just feel the thickness of the air. It's just always just kind of around you. And uh, at certain times, it's going to help build those showers and thunderstorms, uh, especially as we get into the afternoon. Okay, here comes the model blender. And you can see we're going to warm up, but we're we're not going to warm up that much. Uh, The average high right now is still 90. As even as we get into the first few days of August, it is still going to hover uh, around 90. So 80, mid 80s today, 84, 85. We hit uh, 89 yesterday. That was a little, a little bit warmer than I anticipated, but it was because of the lack of rain. There were a few showers around, but uh, not enough to bring the temperatures down. So we got a little bit warmer yesterday than I thought we would. But today, it does look like about 84, 85. Uh, We go 86 to 88 tomorrow. Then we do start to see some low to almost mid-90s. Now, again, this is a blend of models, and we have a few models that are really pushing the heat. 
Uh, but I still see a lot of rain and a lot of clouds in the forecast. So we may not get as warm as it shows there that, you know, 94 to 96. But then notice what happens as we get into next weekend. First weekend in August, we go back to normal right around 90. And in some cases, we may be back into the upper 80s on some of those days. So again, nothing too off the mark as far as where we should be for this time of the year on temperature. It's going to hang around where it should. Uh, there's a lot of talk about record highs and drought and all that kind of stuff. And there Now, there is drought that's going on in the north and eastern part of Kentucky. And it's only because they have not received as much rain as we have here in Southern Kentucky, here in Southern Kentucky, we're looking good. We're not in a drought situation. Let's hope that these continual showers will keep it that way. Even though I know some of you want to get out and do, do some stuff in your yard, the showers are an interruption, but it's keeping us out of a drought situation. So yeah, there's that. Okay. Let's take a look at the maps and here comes our rains that we're seeing this morning, kind of a triple point here, if you will, it's a stalled boundary with a low pressure system and a little bit of a trough or short wave that is passing through the area. That's going to be the trigger today, especially this afternoon for maybe a few thunderstorms. I'm not looking for anything that's going to get out of hand but some thunder, lightning, and some heavy downpours are certainly possible. Here we go into 7 o'clock this evening. Still some showers around. Same thing for early tomorrow morning. And as you head to work, it will be raining again. And some of the rainfall, as you can see, can be a little on the heavy side. As we get into Monday afternoon, slacking off just a bit, but everybody should be seeing, you know, it's the chance that you'll see rain on Monday is at 90%. It's almost as high as you can go. So nine out of 10 of you will be getting some rain. How intense that does not tell the story, but at times the rainfall could be heavy. And then we stay a little bit soupy into Tuesday. You see the rain still is hanging around. Here's Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> Again, a week of a chance of rain every single day. That doesn't mean it's going to rain the whole time, but the chance is there every single day. And here's a cold front that I think will signal an end to the rain, but it may, may not happen until next Sunday, a week from today, before it starts to cut off the rain. And that's going to help bring our temperatures back down a little bit as well. So all I can say is another week of daily chances of rain. Uh, and some days it's not going to rain much. Other days you're going to get like the other day with a very heavy downpour. And it's going to come a quick inch of rain in just a few minutes and then, then it's gone. And then somebody down the road will, I didn't get anything. It's going to be that way all week, pretty much. So there you go. Okay. Uh, in the chat box, I see several of you in here this morning, Becky, Elizabeth, Gail, Mandam 98, Shannon, Sharon, Steve, Loretta, Terry, Tony, Kathy, Barbara, uh, Alyssa, Vivian, uh, Kay, Becky. All right. All of you, uh, watching this morning. I appreciate it very much. You guys have a great Sunday, a blessed Sunday. God bless you all, uh, for watching and have a great day.